His Excellency Datu Muhammad Amin Liu Abdullah, Minister of the Prime Minister's Office and Minister of Finance and Economy to Brunei Darussalam. His Excellency Datu Dr. Haji Hisham Jafar, Minister of Health, Brunei Darussalam, His Excellency of ASEAN Health's Minister's Meeting, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. A very good morning, Selamat Pagi. At the outset, I would like to express my our sympathies to all those affected by COVID-19 pandemic, particularly those battling the surge of cases brought about by the Delta variant. We have witnessed how the pandemic has severely disrupted economies and livelihoods, strained our health systems, and highlighted gaps in our preparedness and response infrastructure. As such, there's a greater need to harmonize all of ASEAN engagements and operation in enhancing health and non-health mechanisms. This will enable the effective and efficient coordination of responses to mitigate the impacts of public health emergency in the region. As one of the main lessons learned from the pandemic, ASEAN recognizes the need to prioritize and advance the development of a technology-enabled digital ecosystem to support healthcare delivery systems. Adapting and leveraging innovative technology, such as through the use of social media and artificial intelligence, would allow us to strengthen the efficiency of information exchanges and enable people to easily access healthcare services in a timely manner. In this regards, allow me to refer to the ASEAN Comprehensive Recovery Framework and its implementation plan. One of the broad strategies identified in the SCRF is accelerating inclusive digital transformation which essentially aims to leverage digital technology to fast track economic recovery. As part of the efforts to implement the SERF digital transformation agenda has also been identified as key priority of Brunei Darussalam as chair of ASEAN 2021. Two outcomes documents are relevant to the health sector. Firstly, the consolidated strategy of the fourth industrial revolution for ASEAN underlines healthcare technologies as essential in increasing the quality of healthcare services and promoting equal access to healthcare within the region. I would like to highlight the instrumental role of the private sector in this endeavor, particularly in leading their expertise and the development and application of specialized digital technologies. Secondly, the Bandasri Bagan Roadmap as ASEAN Digital Transformation Agenda to accelerate ASEAN economic recovery and digital economy integration, which underscores the, necess the, necess ne the necessity of resuming essential travel in ASEAN to jumpstart economic recovery. This will require ASEAN to adapt interoperable and secure digital solutions to facilitate cross-border travels, which entails the use of technology to issue, store, display, and verify digital COVID-19 test results and the, authentic the authenticity of vaccination certificates. Digital technology provides innovative solutions for many economic sectors to adapt to the new normal while ensuring public health and hygiene safety. For example, the tourism sector has adapted digital technology since the outbreak of the pandemic, particularly by utilizing platforms to promote the region as well as to provide information on country restriction and requirement. Moreover, the operationalization of the ASEAN Travel Corridor Framework 
underscores the digital solution could efficiently support the compliance of health protocols to facilitate trades and travels. Furthermore, digital adoption accelerated during the global health crisis in many sectors, especially health. Therefore, protecting government facilities and institutions against cyber attack and enforcing rules of privacy feature as one of the ASEAN's top priorities. ASEAN member states have reinforced their regulatory measure based on the ASEAN framework of personal data protection to safeguard confidentiality, accuracy of personal data and medical records in telemedicine's application. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, COVID-19 has compelled the ASEAN health sector to embrace digitalization, ranging from contact tracing to online med medical consultation. As the region slowly recover from the pandemic, the health sector should remain focused on enhancing the development and utilization of digital technologies to improve the delivery of healthcare services. On that note, I would like to congratulate the Ministry of Finance and Economy and the Ministry of Health and Brunei Darussalam for convening this timely conference. I wish the rest of the events a great success with a fruitful discussion. Thank you very much for your kind attention.